Why is it easy to make electric cars but so hard to make gas cars? It's because gas engines need serious industrial strength. Most of the high-end machines are produced by the US, Europe, and Japan. Making a crankshaft is a great example. First, they clean the ends and drill center holes using a machine from Spain's E-Texet. Then they shape the shaft ends and valve groove with gear from Germany's Nile Simmons. The cutting disc comes from the US Canna Metal. Each tooth holds a different tool, and it rotates to work on different parts. Tool changes take just 0.2 seconds. Then they cut the crank pins and main shaft again using Nile Simmons. This step needs extreme precision. The crank pin shifts position constantly. The cutter has to sink perfectly. If the size is off, oil won't flow well and wear goes up. No advanced gear, no strong engine. Next, they drill oil passages using a deep drill machine from Spain and German drill bits. They drill three shafts at once. These holes send oil from the main shaft to the crank pins to keep them lubed. Next comes heat treatment with German high-frequency gear. It heats the surface to 1000 degrees and cools it fast. That hardens the outside but keeps the inside flexible. It boosts strength and cuts wear. Then they drill holes to make the crankshaft lighter. Hollow design means less spinning force, so it starts and stops easier. Grinding follows, using machines from the UK, super pricey ones. They use CBN wheels with sensors from Italy to keep it exact. After that, they balance the crankshaft using German tools. It finds weight shifts and drills spots to fix it. Unbalanced shafts shake at high speeds and wear out engines. Last step, polishing. The machines from Germany too. Polishing cuts friction and helps with oil flow.